Hello! In this video, you'll find out how to install and use Neocore's half-inch rope. This rope is made for use in Lobster Management Area 3 and other deep offshore areas where fishing gear is configured for large diameter rope. Neocore half-inch line meets the standards for use in the Northeast Lobster and Jonah Crab fisheries under the 2021 amendments to the Atlantic Large Whale Take Reduction Plan. The Atlantic Large Whale Take Reduction Plan requires that, in Lobster Management Area 3, the top 75% of one buoy line must be weak, and the bottom 25% can be higher strength. The second buoy line may be full strength. Break. Tested on a rope breaking machine, this rope predictably breaks within 10% of 1,700 pounds. This means that if a whale becomes entangled, the line is more likely to break and reduce harm to the animal. We worked with commercial fishermen like Rob Martin to test this rope. Together, we're developing solutions to entanglement injuries and helping fishermen comply with regulations. Hi, my name is Rob Martin. I'm a commercial lobster fisherman and also NOAA gear specialist. And we're going to talk about half-inch Neocorp that was approved for Offshore Area 3 for the weak rope to use on one of their ends, 75% of the way down. And we're gonna go over a little bit how to connect it. This is the half-inch Neocorp. It's a little bit stiffer than the version that came out with this past year. It's within 1,700 pound breaking strength, within the 10% overage. It's got a black tracer. The new Neocorp that they are making right now is gonna have a green tracer running through it. So you won't have to put any gear marks in it, except on your surface system. You'll have a solid three foot black within two fathoms of your high flyer poly ball on the surface with a one foot solid green. And right now I'm gonna connect the Neocorp, like a piece of 5 8 poly steel, which is 11,000 pound breaking strength. This would be your bottom 25% on one end. To attach it, just tie a double becket or double sheet bend. Just give it some extra space, cinch it up tight. So breaking this in the in the rope machine, about 95% of the time when this broke, the rope neocorp would break and it would fall apart and there's a no no knot or it's a bitter end, so it's clean when it breaks. And that's one way to do it. And there's some other gear marks that go down your vertical line for area three with black and green. And on the weak end, which is 75% weak rope, this end is not made to haul depending on the size vessel or depth of water. It's just basically a tag line. And if you do have to haul this end, just extend the length from your sled to the first trap. And another option to tie it, If you're using a dog bone on your strong piece 25% of the way down, just tie it through with a figure eight knot so that the line will spin, so hopefully it won't kink up a snarl. And when that breaks, it'll break in here. The Neocorp will break, you'll get a clean bitter end with no knot. You'll just have this at the end. We thank the gear manufacturers for their persistence in developing this solution and the Atlantic Offshore Lobster Association fishermen who helped test this rope in their own buoy lines. If you have questions or suggestions, please visit the NOAA Fisheries Atlantic Large Whale Take Reduction Plan website or email Dave Morin at the NOAA Fisheries Greater Atlantic Regional Office.